All right, this is looking pretty darn good. So now we have to go ahead and set up the admin file for this project. If we go out of the travel locations and out of the content, we're gonna head back to static. And in the static folder, I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call this one admin and drop it in. We can stop this for right now, so we don't need to worry about it running in this case. But I have to create a config file for Netlify CMS to work off of. In this admin file, I'm gonna create a new file and save it. And in there, I'm gonna head down to static and admin. And in here, I'm gonna say config.yml file. This is a new type of file that's gonna drop into our admin folder. So in here, I'm gonna say backend. And then I'm gonna tab in. Now with these YML files, what happens is the tabs become paramount. I've messed it up on more than one occasion. This one's gonna be name, and I'm gonna say git gateway, and then the branch I use is main, and after that, we have to declare what's our media folder. So our media folder will be static slash images, but where it is, I have to go all the way back and all the way forwards. So I'm gonna say public underscore, oops, I just realized that was media, underscore folder, not media dash folder. And our public folder will be dot dot slash dot dot slash and then static images. I have to go back to the root and then forwards and backwards. A little funky, but it just works. After that, we're gonna create a collections area. So this collection is a whole bunch of travel packages. One to Las Vegas, one to Lima, Peru, and one to Venice. So I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna say, collections, hit the return key, and then tab in and say name of this collection is going to be travel packages. Now I did have no space and just a dash right here, name is travel packages. Then I'm gonna say after that, I'll tab it in and I will say preview. And the preview is gonna be false. We don't have to worry about seeing the preview at all because it's just gonna type in the text it's going to change it and then all is going to be good. And then I'm going to say label here will then be the public facing side. So I'll say travel packages. The folder it's going to go into is going to be the content folder. And then make sure I spelled it travel packages and travel locations. That's what it was. So you know what? We can actually change this right now. Since everything's connected to this spot, let me just make sure I don't mess it up. I'm gonna say travel packages, not travel locations. Nothing's pulling that folder name just yet. So we're safe. But this is where it will change with the config file. So making sure I do this, I'm just gonna say travel packages. And it should flip it around. Again, these files are no longer existing because the folder structure has changed. So again, making sure that's all good. And so far, if I refresh the page, everything works fine for the travel packages. So in here, content slash travel packages is the folder for the markdown files. And after this, I'm gonna say create equals true. And after this, the slug is going to be quote, slug in this arena. So when we create slugs on the next one, we're gonna use that folder structure of content and then travel packages to be the slug for these three locations. So if I say slug right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say fields is the next one and this is where all the good stuff happens. I'm gonna tab in and hit the dash and in the fields is where we're gonna then show the same information as right here. There's location, travel dates, featured image, and then the body of the markdown. So in here, I'm gonna say curly brackets, create some space in here and say label, and say location, comma, the name is going to be lowercase name, lowercase location, as in we're gonna see the label but just have name be the lowercase area, and then we're gonna have the widget be string. Now, if we go back into Netlify, do I have it bookmarked? I think I do. 
bring it over here for one second. So, oops, let's do Netlify widgets, Netlify CMS widgets. So the widgets, there we go, I thought I had it saved in there. You can have a whole different area of widgets. You can have code, color, date, date time. I'm just gonna use two things. I'm just gonna use a string, a basic information like a text area input, and now we're gonna use the image as well to collect the information to pull into our design for our picture. So if we head back to our code, let's go back here. This one first is gonna be a string. If we do it again, we'll hit the dash. Oops, just a single curly bracket. I hit the double space and I'll say label, colon, travel, dates, and then comma, name, colon, travel, dates. And you're seeing travel dates matches up to travel dates along with location. So I'm mimicking the names right here inside my config file. And again, this one's gonna be a string. If I wanted to bring a date in, I could, but I'm just gonna type them manually. So this one's gonna be widget colon string. And then at the next one, we do this curly bracket. We're gonna then have a label. And this is gonna be our featured image. And again, the name has to reflect the name inside the markdown file. So we'll say colon, drop it in. And then we're gonna have name is featured. Actually, you can just do featured image right here, comma, and then widget. And this one's gonna be image. There we go. And the last area we're gonna bring in is that body. So we'll say label one more time. I know a lot of them here. And we'll say body. Then we'll say name is body. And this one's gonna be, the widget is gonna be a markdown. Markdown. Let's actually put that in quotes. So the markdown, if we look for it right here, turns into a full-fledged editor, which you can use. So again, label, name, body, widget, markdown, it'll render just looking like this one. So you can set it both as markdown, rich text, paragraph, bold, italics, all of that. Now that we have that saved, we now can then connect Netlify CMS to Gatsby. I'm gonna stop this right here. I'm gonna do a quick Google search. I'm gonna look for Gatsby CMS plugin. What we should find is the Gatsby JS plugins and the Gatsby plugin Netlify. So we have to bring in two pieces right here. So we have to bring in first the Netlify CMS app and then the Gatsby plugin Netlify CMS. I'm gonna do these separately. I'm gonna do them also via Yarn. I had an issue before when I did NPM for some reason, so I'm gonna do a Yarn install for this one. In this case, I'm gonna say Yarn add and then Netlify CMS app. Now I'm running Gatsby 5 and I noticed a little bit of a hiccup with the latest version of the Gatsby plugin Netlify CMS. So I found a unique situation that I think works even better. I'm gonna click Gatsby plugin Netlify CMS. I'm gonna go into the GitHub repo. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna click on Gatsby plugin Netlify CMS. And in here, I'm gonna head down to the master branch. And we can find the change log. I found that version seven had a hiccup with Gatsby version five where it didn't automatically populate and I had to write a bit of different code. So I'm gonna grab version six. So I'm gonna grab version 6.4, 6.240 and add this to my design. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say yarn add and we'll add the Gatsby plugin. So we'll add Gatsby plugin Netlify and then we'll add an at sign at the very end, and then we'll add a caret. And in here, I'm gonna pull version six. And yep, we have a package lock issue. Let's just get rid of that one. We're gonna go all into, woo. We're gonna go all into the yarn anyways, so we'll just get rid of this one, and we're all good to go. Now when I run this, if I say Gatsby develop, it will tell me there is a hiccup, or so to speak, there's a hiccup. So if we run this, let's check this out right here, compile Gatsby files. 
Yep, it's gonna clear the cache out. What I should see is a known warning message, which is totally fine. I'm not worried about it. So what should come up, building development bundle. Oh, you know what we forgot? <laughs> this will not work quite yet. We actually haven't brought in this one. So what we have to do is we have to add the Gatsby plugin Netlify CMS, you guessed it, to our config file. So if we head over, not this config, but the Gatsby config, let me just close this one, get a little more cleanliness going on here. If we head over to Gatsby config, I'm gonna add it to my design. And now when I save it, what should happen is this plugin should cook into gear. Now I use an older version, which again is gonna work totally fine. It's gonna tell me exactly what I was looking for. Right there at the top, it's gonna say this plugin is not compatible with version five. It requires Gatsby four next, essentially requires Gatsby five, which is totally fine. Again, it's a minor hiccup in the setup process. I just found version seven to be more of an issue. So I went back to version six and that worked totally fine. Again, it warns me, it says I must have a higher version than version four, which I totally do. So now assuming everything is set up to go, we can now connect this up to Netlify. I'm gonna then stop it and say git add, and we'll say git commit connect project to Netlify CMS. Git push origin main, and it should push all my files. I do have some bigger files, so it will take a few seconds longer to write. And now we can then check on Netlify and see how the project's going. So netlify.com, log back in, maybe, maybe not, <laughs> there we go. Let me grab the staging. So it is building this, so we should have an okay. Again, it will warn us for that one problem, which is totally fine. I'm not worried about it. Oh, hasn't hit us yet. So let me just go back to deploy building. And just like magic, our site is live and it is working successfully. No error messages. We are all good to go. Now, if I just go back to my deploys, double check it all. Hey, check it out. Las Vegas, Lima, Peru, and Venice. Awesome. We have it working. Our next stage is to create the login now using Netlify CMS.